Hey everyone, in this video we'll be discussing one of the OG tanks which is still pretty popular, E100, and whether you can play it in current meta or is it obsolete and will you just suffer playing it. Well, let's go over E100 first. It did receive some buff last year where the turret armor was buffed, as well as it got a secondary gun. The secondary gun is not as good as Mouse's gun which has premium PC and fire uh, it has better shell velocity, but it has heat and 18 as a secondary gun, so not the fastest. However, with 6.0, we did get an equipment to swap ammo without reloading the entire shell. And that is really useful and have made E100 better than it was pre-6.0. After 6.0, or the current meta is mostly about speed and DPM. So it, so the tanks like Chieftain, BZ-55, Valor, they dominate. It's very difficult to go head-to-head -head against those tanks in an E-100. The E-100, you can do well if you're facing against a semi-experienced player. But if you're facing a better player in tanks like Chieftain, you will not be able to win the brawl. So this, this triple A was set by Sid, and it, this map is kind of one of the good maps for E100, and it's not that big. And we'll see what we can, what he'll be able to do. So E100 still has its 750 alpha. It still has decent DPM. Well, it has better DPM than the other tanks with this alpha, like 60 TP, pretty bad. And uh, VK, not the greatest either VK-72 or Panzer-7. So it's better than those tanks. It is better than some super heavies, but not the best. So it could be enjoyable, but you can only enjoy it if the matchmaking allows you to, allows the games to last longer because the tank does not really have speed. It is slow. And while you, when you eventually get to the battle because it has alpha, and a little bit longer reload because of the because of the alpha and if you do not pen your shots or kind of miss time your shots the enemy will use that opportunity to to pen couple pen you couple times so what's the best way to play this tag the setup is listed in the description but i would highly recommend using advanced reload as well as using the bigger gun the smaller gun with 490 alpha did receive some buffs as well but it's not really worth However, that gun does have premium APCR. The reason I say it is whenever you're facing an even under or anyone is facing an even under, it expect them to use the bigger gun. So they don't really peek in front of E100. And since this is one of those tanks that will be fighting frontline, and when you're trading, the alpha comes in handy. So even if you do take time damage, you are doing more in return or equal unless you're fighting tank destroyers. Another thing is, because of the hull down meta, uh, and if you're using advanced reload, you can quickly swap to AT and uh, do 300 to 400 damage to hull down tanks if they're being annoying. And because it's AT, you don't really have to aim, you will be able to get away with it without taking any damage or not as much as, as much damage. And uh, whenever uh, when we were playing E100, it is you have to keep in mind the AT is not as good as Type 5's AT. Type 5 easily hits for 500 or 600, but E100 usually hits for 300, 350. Sometimes you might get like even 400, uh, but in my experience, it's 300. But it's still good, you know. Whenever you're facing a hull down tank, for example, we just saw that Conquer. He didn't have a clear, clear shot. He thought he could finish him with AT, so he switched, quickly switched to AT, hit him for 300. And it comes in very, very handy. Basically, any tank that has high alpha, you should use advanced reload, in, such as tanks like 60 TP or uh, even Type 5. 1 to 1 was running away. He decided to switch to AT and pan him. Unfortunately, got a little unlucky there. Didn't full pan it, the tank. So. In even under, if you get small maps, you can do decent. You can have some decent games, but if you get like bigger maps, right? The tank's slow, tank's big. It's gonna be priority for 
tank destroyer as you can't really rotate right you don't have the speed and you're big and you're it's always been artillery target but it does not mean you can't have decent games in tech as uh, if, if i have to rate this tech i would say it's slightly above average there are, there are a lot more worse heavies than that as i already mentioned a few but then there's others are like 277 um i would also rate 260 to be worse than even 100 however some might disagree uh, and uh, but obviously there like any tank that has 10 degrees of gunpowder and good dpm will just eat e100 without any trouble but uh, yeah let's go over this map now he's already at 6200 damage 1600 assist 7v6 this team is leading by a tank and he's down to 1200 hp v5 peaks he's using his teammates dead tank to kind of get in cover t100 is a tall tank so you can look over tanks easily and uh, use this use them to hide your lower plate it has six degrees or uh, seven degrees gun depression so not the best but still workable if you're kind of flat ground or a little bit on the ridge and facing up it's very difficult to pen even hundreds turret but we didn't get the same buffs as pc though we're in their armor is still stronger than what we have on on console that's 7000 damage and i think since with five enemy remaining we all think we might be able to hit those five digit number al haluf i think the play position was he was playing is the best position when there's artillery if if there is no artillery you can still play kind of the inner ridge or the lower ridge on the i'm a little bit confused on the minimap on the two line or sorry b line but uh can't really play that when there is an artillery is that 7800 damage three tanks remaining can he get to 10k artillery gets spotted he fires 8989 that is a little bit of a high roll switch to the smaller gun that's the other thing i noticed even if it's a smaller gun because it fires heat it doesn't really go straight it kind of lobs the shot so you might not be that accurate firing long range however you can use this gun to kind of fool enemies for example if someone not not a lot of people know that d100 has dual barrel not dual barrel a secondary weapon so you can fire the smaller gun other thing you might you have fired it'll peak and then you can damage them with your actual gun and i have i have seen this thing work we have baited enemies to do that but it doesn't work against more experienced players as they can differentiate between the shell sounds but it doesn't hurt to try that because it it works more often than not because not the best players play e100 it is it's still one of the popular tank considering when, when it was released and the grind to this tank is very very enjoyable tiger one very good tank tiger two the best tier at heavy e75 very very solid tank can hold its own own and then e100 it it's the weakest if you compare tier to tier but uh but because the dry grind is enjoyable you might as well get the tag last time remaining he didn't manage to finish units unfortunately not able to hit the 10k target but nonetheless still a great game 9500 damage that's it for today's video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one